Hey, Jeff Choate here, acting voice of the Bobcats. Uh, welcome to Bobcat Insider. Today, we're fortunate to have Shayla Weber here from the volleyball team. Shayla is a Montana native. Uh, it says right here that you were an All-State selection four times. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm assuming that being from Joliet, not a metropolis by any stretch of the imagination, that you were a multiple sport athlete, I'm assuming. Yes. So what other sports did you play besides volleyball in um, high school? Besides volleyball, I did basketball and track. Okay. And yeah, so basketball, I was also very passionate about. I did that all four years. And track, I did for two years. Um, it was really stressful for me because I'm like a team sport kind of gal. Oh. But I mean, I still enjoyed it, but it wasn't my fave for sure. Yeah, okay. So, what was your favorite sport? Was volleyball your favorite? Oh yeah, volleyball, so, hands down. So what was it about volleyball that made it? Well, my mom was has been a coach for years, and so I grew up in the gym, and I grew up around the game, which was like a huge part of it, um, a part of my passion about it. And so I just grew up watching it and learning it, and I just loved like the intensity and passion and like togetherness that volleyball brought. So yeah. cool. So are you a libero? Yes, in high school I was not, but in college I'm like obviously a little small, so libero and like defensive specialist is my position, but okay. in high school I played um, a 6'2 setter, so I set and then hit all the way around. Okay, it's not, you weren't 6'2". No, it no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I know it's like being a Montana girl and, uh, and having an opportunity to play at Montana State University, was that a dream of yours? Yeah, it was a dream of mine from a really young age. Like I said, I grew up around it, and so I just had big goals to play D1. And I knew like the only two options in Montana were U of M and MSU, and I just love Bozeman. So it was always a dream to play at this level at, in Montana, Very be cool. close to home. So, yeah. so what about any questions that you might have about the football program, about, you know, I don't know, athletics in general? I've been here, this is my fifth year, and I've got a lot of free time now, so I've been doing a lot of research. And so, you know, anything that you want to know, I probably have an opinion on. <laughs> um, how would you say MSU athletic, athletic programs compare to others? Yeah, know. I've had an opportunity to be at a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I started out my collegiate coaching career at Utah State University. Then I went to an FCS school in the Ohio Valley Conference for a year at Eastern Illinois. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I was at Boise State for six years, Washington wow. State University, University of Florida. And then prior to coming to Bozeman, I was at the University of Washington. So I've seen a lot uh, mm -hmm. and a lot of perspective. I would say, um, and I kind of mentioned this with Emma when I was talking to her earlier, at Montana State, most of the places I worked, football was like over here and you never saw anybody else. Mm -hmm. And we're, and, and we're going to have to work at that because we're going to be moving across the street here shortly. And, and that is something that you lose a little bit. And at first it's like, you know, I have never seen volleyball girls in, in the facility. I've never seen a track athlete in the facility. Yeah. I've never seen men's basketball. And so one of the cool things about being here is that you really do develop relationships with student athletes from all different sports. And also I think you get closer with the coaches. Okay. And so that's probably the positive. Um, and, and, you know, everybody kind of has to, has to share a little bit too. And yeah. I think that's, uh, that's okay. I mean, y'all, there's more of an esprit de corps. I think we all pull for each other more. And uh, if it's good for the Bobcats, then it's good for me. That's kind of mm -hmm. how I look at it. Yeah, for sure. That's so. awesome. Jolly, that's eight man, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So who is their big rival? Um, Ennis in previous years was their big rival, but they apparently just beat them like 54 to zero. So yeah, I mean, there you go. <laughs> new year, new group, I guess. So but, what about for you in, in basketball and, and volleyball? Uh, who was your big volleyball, rival? Volleyball, our big rivals was Huntley Project. Okay. Uh, they had an incredible winning streak. Uh, we played them in the state championship this past year, my senior year. And we got second, but we took them to five, which was like a new thing for Huntley. Like they never get taken to five, but that was their 100th game winning streak. So wow. yeah, so they're a pretty amazing team and they were always our rivals. And then in basketball, it was probably Columbus. Columbus has a really good basketball program for girls and yeah, they were always our big competition. So Very cool. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, we're glad that you're here. Look forward to seeing you get a chance to compete in the spring. And so um, you guys show up in Troyer. <laughs> Check yeah. out this four-time first-team All-State athlete <laughs> from Joliet, Montana, Montana's own, Shayla Weber. Thanks for, thanks for joining Thank us you. today. Go Cats!